And if you can find these signs, the sign and sheet, that way I can get your names correct. It's some good, some bad. I mean, they're not bad, nothing bad. But okay. it, it didn't make a difference. It's mm -hmm. the part of the game. Yeah. But I still have a full set in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still go back to just another night. I feel good around my shit. Mm -hmm. But how you doing? All I got to do is move. Right. I just, yeah. I just got Tired to Tired of all the rain the past three days. Yeah, we need like the rain, rain, but I just wish it could. Yeah. Rain, rain, rain. Yeah. And be done? Yeah, can be done? Yeah. Not really. I agree. <laughs> it did initially, but now it's kind of. But um, it's pretty really much here. Kingsburg, it's, it's all the way on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, it was more than that rain here yesterday. Sitting on the sunshine over there. Issues, too. <laughs> I called you back by an hour later and said it's raining here now. So. Wow. Hey, Dolan. Good. How are you? Good. All righty. We'll start here. We'll call the meeting to order. We'll start in the room of silent prayer. What's your name? I can't read Mike. scratching. Sorry. Could, Mike. You, could you write your name on there so we can read who your name is? All right, we'll start the meeting here. Bobby's supposed to be here quarter kill. We'll take public comment until Bobby gets here. So, is there any public comment? I um, just have a couple. Um, now that the first installment of the legal fees owed by the county is known. Um, the thought comes to mind, um, first of all, and no one has ever said who is paying your, your attorneys, but you've always said that it is at no cost to the county. Uh, the costs to the county have now arrived, and the thought is you get what you pay for sometimes, and sometimes you really need to pay for what you're getting. Um, is there any thought as to how this first installment, which is approaching half a million, will be paid for. And what about the next installment that will come after the fees are put together for the most recent hearing? Where do you see any payments? Is, where do you opinion. see that? Public opinion. Public opinion says the amount owed by the county as of June 9th was 488000 I'm not sure if it's 48 or 468, something like that. Just shy of. Well, I never heard of work. We never, well, we never, never, never heard of money from anybody. Well, no. No, it's it's in the paper. It's in the paper. 400. Well, that would have to be true then, I guess. Well, <laughs> one would assume so. <laughs> I, I would. I wouldn't assume that it was anything misprinted. Okay. I mean, I can say nothing's ever come across my we, desk or the fiscal I'm not administrator's aware of desk for that. I'm not aware of any of it. So I. Until I see that, I, I really can't answer the question. Well, just in case it is true, how would the county go about paying for that? I don't know that yet. I would have to see the emergency and see what's going on there first. Okay, and another, another comment. I did listen to much of the hearing that happened a couple of weeks ago, and it sounds like the um, company that you folks were advocating for would charge eight to 12000 a week to supervise your machines? Is that accurate? I don't know where you heard that. I, I didn't hear that. I heard that in your court hearing. Well, I didn't hear that. I sat there and I didn't hear that. There was so much for a transfer 
And so much a month, is how they said they was going to do it. Well, no, he said that once they would transfer it, they would put a camera on it, and they would pay somebody 24-7 um, to watch that camera. And that person would be billed at, um, I forget what the well, amount the was. The numbers that we got was $6,500 for transfer, mm -hmm. and then like $900 a month to watch the or store the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that... Now, it's, I'm going to interrupt here. That was the price of the outfit that the, the state wanted yes right? yes okay right. i think you're meaning the i'm other, talking about the, the company that company. you folks were advocating we had the man on the stand that um let's just say he had a lot of questionable social media but his company was going to charge eight to twelve thousand a week to to store those machines no i was i didn't right. i wasn't there when he was on the okay. stand and you didn't inquire before going through three days worth of hearings as to what this would cost? Right. Well, yeah. our attorneys, I talked to our attorneys before we went on stand. They okay. told us that he was much considerably cheaper mm -hmm. than so. That is not what I heard in the hearings. That's all I can say. May I respectfully add something? The uh, special master's report said that the county's chosen vendor wanted $442,500 for the first year of, of transport and storage, transport being 6,500. The state's chosen vendor was $16,840. According to the special master's report that came out last week. Yeah. Ma'am, do you have any more questions? Uh, that about covers it. May I be recognized? Um, does the commission know if special counsel Stephanie Lambert is licensed to practice law in Pennsylvania. How we, well, I've talked to, I always deal with Tom Carroll. That's who I deal with. Tom Carroll's our contact. He's your contact? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but but Stephanie she's, was also, she's, you, you guys she, did she, vote she, to she have her special counsel. Tom, yeah. She works for Tom, yes. Yeah. But my understanding was when I looked her up, she was only licensed in Michigan, I think. That's so, but that's my understanding as well. Special counsel does not contact me for anything, so you know I don't have any contact or anything with them. So that's just what I'm going by was what I looked up. Um, so I mean, you don't know how much has been paid to the special counsels yet, or do you guys know? No, I've never seen any numbers. And, and who's going to be responsible for those payments when they get dispersed? It's pro bono is what we call pro bono is us. That's, that's what we signed. Okay, so there's a record that, that says that? We signed the paper back whenever they was yeah. born. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I'm sure the clerk can provide me with that later. Um, so do, do either you, Commissioner Ulster, or you, Commissioner Bunch, have an attorney-client relationship with either Mr. Carroll or Mr. Lambert outside of your commission activities? Nothing to do with anything else other than commission. No? Activities. Okay. Um, are you aware that your special counsel, uh, Mr. Carroll, signed an election certificate purporting to be a conditional Republican elector in the 2020 election? What was that question? So, Mr. Carroll, your special counsel, Thomas Carroll, he signed an election certificate in 2020 purporting to be a conditional Republican elector in the 2020 election. In other words, uh, a slate of electoral college voters that didn't win, who were not actually electoral college voters showed up in the state capitol and they signed an election certificate saying that they were duly elected. Um, but he, here in Pennsylvania, they said it was contingent on something else happening. Are you aware that he was one of those electors? I wasn't aware of that. I, I didn't even know he was even Republican. I've never talked anything politics to him. Um, so last week, the, the special master to uh, Pennsylvania Supreme Court issued a report that says that under oath, uh, test, uh, in testimony from both the county's IT expert, Mr. Martin, and its election supervisor, Ms. Hess, they both say that they don't know 
that Speck and Forensics LLC was an elections vendor for Fulton County, Pennsylvania. Can you explain how that came about, uh, an election vendor working for the county, but the IT expert and the elections supervisor not knowing about it? I'm not going to talk to you anything about what was said in, in the courts because I, I'm not, not getting involved with any of that. I mean, what was said in courts was said in courts. I'm not repeating anything that was said in courts. No, no, I mean, that's not saying anything different. Oh, yes, I, Commissioner. I, I can't right? remember everything in the court, so I won't speculate any of it. No, I, I understand, no. Commissioner. I'm just saying, like, are you familiar with how Specken came to be the, the county's vendor? Because the two officials who would normally deal with such a vendor uh, say that they'd never heard of them under oath. Again, if that was talked about in the courtroom, I won't call them a um, So does the commission know why Mr. Carroll chose a vendor that was going to charge 26 times what the state's chosen vendor wanted to charge for these uh, election services? No, I, I did anything I was told it is cheaper. Okay. And are you familiar with XR Vision and their report on Fulton County's voting machines, which concluded there was no election fraud, nor any instances of malware found on the machines as declared by Speck and Forensics? Okay, XR Vision's another company that was contracted by Ms. Lambert as special counsel to Fulton County, and they issued a report on Fulton County's machines. Have you seen the XR Vision report? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How did they get access to the equipment? Uh, apparently, the special counsel provided it. I mean... Because this is something new. I've, I've not heard... You say it's XR vision, like the XR, XR vision, XR yeah. Vision. Yeah, like the letter X, the letter mm -hmm. R vision. Okay, this is the first that I've heard of that company. Yeah, um, let's see, I have one more question and, uh, and it's just for you, Commissioner Shives. So I had sent an email earlier and I didn't see a response. I was just wondering if you could explain your, your vote against Mr. Lambert and Carol as special counsels. Um, because you were the lone dissenting vote. Um, I didn't think that the county should sue the Department of State to begin with, because I felt that whenever the equipment was accessed by TSI, it tainted the equipment, and I understood why the state was saying this can no longer be used. Well, Amber didn't have anything to do with suing the state. That was Tom King. Okay, well, but they took the place of them. So I'm just kind of in background, you know, I wasn't in favor of any lawsuits against the state. So when Tom, Tom King Carroll was first, yeah. um, whenever he, he was the first special counsel, I didn't vote for him either. Okay. I did vote to get rid of him when that was brought up to get rid of him. And then whenever the other um, Lambert and okay. Carol was hired, I did not vote for that because again, I did not, feel that the, it was in the county's best interest to have this lawsuit against the state. So that's why I voted against. Thank you, commissioners. May I address the commissioner? Um, I have a few questions. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that Stephanie and Lambert has been indicted by the state of Michigan for voter machine tampering? I don't know anything about what's going on in Michigan. Okay, because that is one of your legal counsels. She is currently under indictment in Michigan. Do you, would you like to say anything about your lawyer being under indictment? I don't know anything about what's going on in Michigan. Okay. Um, how many meetings have you had in person or over the phone over the past 24 months with James Carroll and Stephanie Lambert? Tom Carroll. Tom Carroll, sorry. I wouldn't be able to tell you how many times I've talked to him. Would the clerk have a record of meetings and she calls? She wouldn't have a record of it. Is that something that you can provide as public I, record? I, no, I wouldn't be able to provide it. I don't know how many times. I wouldn't be able to provide it either. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have no idea how to provide it to you. Okay. And are you familiar that Thomas Carroll filed frivolous election lawsuits in the state of Delaware contesting the twenty twenty election? I didn't know he was licensed in Delaware. 
Okay, so you weren't familiar that he was filing lawsuits in Delaware to contest the election? I didn't know he was licensed in Delaware. If he wasn't licensed in Delaware, I, I wouldn't assume he'd be able to put any lawsuits in Delaware. Okay, Commissioner Bunch, were you aware? No. Okay. Uh, Ms. Shives, were you aware? No. All right. Thank you, that's all. I just want to say something to you. I appreciate you standing up for the pledge. That means a lot in this county. Oh, I always will. Military family. You didn't. You didn't. No, I did. I seen you sitting there whenever I turned around. No, it's because I sat down first. Okay. Yes, I did stand I just, for the pledge. All right, I just wanted 100 to clarify that. 100% did. Just wanted to clarify that. Okay. If you have anything else to say about these matters, I, I'm happy to hear it. I, I don't have nothing to say. Commissioner Bunch? Thank you, Commissioners. That um, we are investigating whether, well, I shouldn't say investigating, we're questioning whether our insurance, the errors and emissions insurance, would cover mm -hmm. any um, sanctions by yeah, the state. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. And yeah. I also understand that that's somewhat questionable based on the circumstances. Yes, yes. So, so that, you know, I think that's the first avenue that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So if that doesn't cover it, then who is going to have to pay the bill? I guess the county. I, if that's how the state um, says who has to pay it. So... Definitely not budgeted for. One last follow-up. How did uh, Mr. Carroll get introduced to the commissioners and the county as being screened for special counsel? How did uh, you guys get introduced? Uh, I was doing some searching and just come across the name, made a phone call. So, Google? I don't know what I was on. I was just searching. Okay. For Because he's from uh, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, so he's pretty far away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Google, Yellow Pages? I don't know how. I, I just was searching. I, I was searching different things, different, different pages, different... I couldn't tell you what I actually come across it on. But he wasn't recommended to you guys as... Legal counsel. You I didn't, didn't talk to nobody. Did, did. So you were solely responsible for reaching out, screening him, talking to him, discussing. That, I made more phone calls than him. I couldn't even tell you how many phone calls I made. I made multiple phone calls. Okay. And you all three discussed discussed uh, Mr. Carroll and at length. Background, what he was doing, how he was going to help you. No, there was no background discussion because I had to go home and Google him myself, both him and Stephanie Lambert, to just see who they were. Okay. But, um, I mean, I think the motion was made and seconded to replace Tom King with these two. <coughs> so, and of course the motion carried to this one. But you were never made aware of any introduction, referral? No. Of, okay. All right, so he... He appeared fairly quickly in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So were you shocked when he was appointed special counsel? Well, I'm not going to say shocked. I mean, it was at the same meeting, and I'm sure the minutes of whatever the meeting was will show that a motion was made to dismiss Tom King, and then another motion was made to hire Tom Carroll and Stephanie Lambert. Were they present at the meeting? Uh, no. I'm not trying to be mean, but public comment is supposed to be a brief time. They already have appointments in place. Um, it's not really supposed to be a period of lengthy conversation. Right. I'm not trying to be ignorant, but they are already I appreciate it. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. But I will briefly just say that no, to my recollection, I don't think either of them was, has ever been in the office. Could I just ask one more thing on that subject? Did did you um, 
ask your local solicitor to check into their qualifications? I didn't. I don't know either. Thank you. Is Bobby out there? Um, no, he's not, but Celine is here with her group. 